Hey, what's up guys? Um, been really into practicing loops lately, um, so I wanted to do a little tutorial on a loop that I just learned. Uh, I think it was called the, the Zero G Chaplin Loop. Um, picked it up from a JD member, and I just really enjoy it. Uh, I think it, it helps training with a few areas that I thought I needed to work on, so I figured I'd uh, pass it along to you guys. So, first off, you're going to start in your neutral position, holding the safe handle. You can see my bike handle has my lanyard on there. Um, there's a couple ways you can get into this. You can just throw your double roll out. Basically, you want to get into the position to do a full twirl, but you're going to do it inverted. So you can throw a double roll out. Or, uh, if you're just starting out the combo with it, um, sometimes I like to do a, a zero G chaplain. Just throw your double roll out, ricochet back, throw a zero G chaplain, and that puts you right into that position there. So what you want to do after you get there is, like I said, you're basically going to do a full twirl, but you're going to do it zero G. So you throw your double roll out. You should land pinching the safe handle between your index and middle. What you're going to do is push back with your middle finger, pull back with your index, and you're going to pull the knife in towards you, letting the, the bike handle revolve around to the inside. Now what you're going to do from there, just like a full twirl, you put your uh, back of your ring finger on the safe handle and remove your index. All right. So you throw your double roll out, pinch the knife here, you're going to throw it back, catching with your ring finger and releasing your index. Now from here, the bike handle is going to be coming around this way. And because of gravity, it's going to want to fall. Well, the good part is you can let it fall. So it's going to come out and around. And what you're going to do is roll it between your middle and ring and let it roll up and around. So it's going to swoop down and around this way. So it's going to let you come back up the ladder type motion. So from here, you do your double roll, push back, grab with your ring, and as this, see I almost wanted to do it just naturally, as the bike handle comes around, you let it roll around just like that. Roll around, closing on your middle finger, and when it comes around you're going to let momentum bring it almost all the way around, and touch your index finger to the tip of your middle finger, and go from fingers down to fingers up, and you're just going to finish it out with an index chaplain. So what that's going to look like, push back, oh, I'm sorry, push back, grab with your ring, let the bite handle swoop around, it's going to go around your middle finger, catching with the index, touching the tips of your finger, lift up, and bring around for index uh, chaplain. Now as you can see, because of this, this is a loop, you started out right from the beginning again. So you can go back and do it over and over again. Alright guys, one more time, just a final little walkthrough. Double roll out, back to your ring, swoop around, around the middle, pointer finger comes up, index chaplain. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Good luck.